Receive warm greetings from this end, fellow VIP winners, and welcome to today's edition of the VIP News. It is the 38th edition of the VIP News, a special dedication to the Silicon Mountain Conference currently taking place in Boya, Southwest Regional Capital. A press conference was held this Tuesday at the Art and Culture Center, where Jungle Hub is located in Bongo Square, Boya, to brief the media on the Silicon Mountain Conference. The fifth edition of the Silicon Mountain Conference has kicked off, as you know, in the Southwest Regional Capital. The event will run for five days from Tuesday 14 to Saturday 18, 2023. A sport walk took place yesterday, Tuesday, to raise awareness about the Silicon Mountain Conference currently taking place in Boya, Southwest Regional Capital. Those were our top stories. Stand by for the news in greater detail. At the central microphone for presentation this day, I am betraying Shintum Tumyoi. The news in full. The fifth edition of the Silicon Mountain Conference has kicked off in Boya, Southwest Regional Capital. The event will run for five days from Tuesday 14 to Saturday 18 November 2023. The conference this year is taking place under the theme of It Takes a Village to Raise Champions. The opening ceremony brought together tech enthusiasts entrepreneurs, organizations, journalists, and those competing for different contests of the event. During the event, we had the opportunity to interview some participating organizations. They shared their excitement about being a part of this conference and highlighted the importance of such an event. How does that growth and our goal is to, you know, get into partnership with schools, get into partnership with um, communities like the Silicon Mountain um, community and that has helped us, um, you know, spread our wings, uh, spread our tentacles deep into the community and now we are um, encouraging and empowering more women. Um, for instance, this year, we are um, uh, spearheading the, the, the Women in Tech session and it has been amazing encouraging more young women and girls to be part of technology. I always say technology is not coding only. Other participants also expressed their expectation by the end of the conference. Okay, I'm called Anye Kevin Bless. I'm from Baminda. I came here for a program. I'm here as, as a representative under GLAPI. This um, GLAPI is a program that is there to empower young people to a global world. Stay tuned for the latest update and development from the Silicon Mountain Conference in our next edition of the VIP News. Still in line with the Silicon Mountain Conference, where a press conference was held last Tuesday at the Art and Culture Center, where Jungle Hub is located in Bongo Square, Boya, to brief the media on the Silicon Mountain Conference. We are going to be having all of our topmost guests coming from different parts of the country, representing different ministries, including the Ministry of Telecommunications, and then also representing the Ministry of Small Medium Sized Enterprises and different authorities in FACO are going to be part of that event. Uh, we are going to be having key keynote addresses from uh, uh, one very key entrepreneur called Roland Formunda, who is going to be addressing entrepreneurs and talking about the team it takes a village to raise champions and working together as one. So uh, also we are going to be having an award gala night on that same day where we are going to be awarding all these prizes and uh, thanks to UNDP and Orange Cameroon who are sponsored all the prizes. Various media organs had the opportunity to ask questions directly to the organizers in the presence of all participants. One of the questions asked was regarding the geographical location of the Silicon Mountain community. In response, Mr. Churchill, a community leader and tech enthusiast, clarified that the community covers only FACO division. 
to be identified as part of the Silicon Mountain community. The organizations who hope must have a branch of activities in faculty division. The question were answered by a panel consisting of organizers, partners, sponsors, and organizations directly involved in the running of the conference. The conference will continue this Wednesday with an exhibition by various tech hubs, organizations, and entrepreneurs. Away from that, still in line with the Silicon Mountain Conference, where a sport walk took place yesterday, Tuesday, to raise awareness about the Silicon Mountain Conference currently taking place in Boya. The walk started from Checkpoint Moliko and ended in Bongo Square. It brought together various organizations, tech enthusiasts, and tech hubs that form the Silicon Mountain community. The sport work served as an effective way to spread the message about the conference throughout the municipality of Boya. The theme of this year's conference is It Takes a Village to Raise Champions, emphasizing the importance of collaboration and innovation in the tech ecosystem. The Silicon Mountain Conference aims to facilitate discussions, networking, and knowledge sharing amongst professionals in the IT industry. It serves as a platform for startup and tech companies to showcase their innovation and find potential partners. The conference served as a showcase for the potential of the technology sector in Cameroon and showcase the country's commitment to innovation and economic growth. Fellow VIP winners, it is with that news report we come to the end of today's edition of the VIP News. Take the rendezvous tomorrow, same time we'll be back on air to update you on the latest happening as far as the Silicon Mountain Conference and other newsmaking events are concerned. At the central microphone for presentation this day, I am the trying Shinto Tomyoi, technically assisted by Jamal Richard. Good morning. <laughs>